Welcome to another video, and today I got another fairy video, and it's actually it's the same uh, fairy as last time because it's more evidence why Yang is the first Spinjitzu master. So before I just continue on, I want to thank you all for, for um, commenting in the last uh, fairy fairy video so yeah thank you even though um some were um native to the fairy but either if you did that but still thank you if it wasn't for you guys i wouldn't um made this video at all so yes thank you so i got for whole another reasons why <laughs> Yang is his first Spinjitzu master. So yeah, let's let's discuss about it. The first reason is that the fact that the first Spinjitzu master was actually cursed. Remember and rebooted that that um old uh Venomari snake guy, uh, I think it's the general and um he told this flashback story of the first Benjutsu Master, you know, the Curse of the uh, First Benjutsu Master um, episode. And yeah, there was this, and yeah, he said to the ninja, and there was this flashback story. And they didn't say anything what was his curse at all. And it's pretty interesting. Maybe he could turn to the turn to a ghost and turn to Yang. Into Yang, I mean. And then, since he's a ghost, he might, um, and have some connection to the, um, uh, I heard that the temple has some connection to the, um, curse realm. So maybe, um, maybe there's connection to Yang and the preeminent, and that's how he turned evil, I guess. So, yeah, that's kind of really interesting um thing to point out and yeah it fits in with the fairy and also the second re um and also um some of you guys commented um or oh wait um uh, oh yeah here's where i am okay um also another reason is that um oh yeah uh the first when you looked at the episode TikTok, in the flashback of you know uh, Wu and Goblin's um, childhood, uh, in the first, they actually showed the first Bajitsu master, but his face, but in the back of him, they have this same dragon symbol as Yang, and also the lantern. So that's pretty interesting and you know uh, Mauro like he has this evil version of Lord symbol and um and Yang's um oh yeah and Yang's um oh yeah and also Yang's symbol could be the evil version of the first Benjutsu Masters symbol like another reason maybe he could be possessed but then again, um, I'm sticking with this theory. So, um, and yeah, and people are talking about, um, also talking about Yang couldn't be the first Bajitsu master because, uh, the first Bajitsu master has a white beard and while Yang has a black beard. Well, you remember in Rebooted, um, Wu actually um, has his uh, uh, beard black when he turned evil, and that thing could also happen to the first Benjutsu master. So uh, yeah, that's all I have to talk about that. And also, I have this interesting comment, which actually uh, convinced me to make the video, or or the reason. One person comment if you could um, um, know Cantonese or um, um, another language, um, uh, you could uh, 
Wu actually gave the ninja a mission and, and then self inside to find Yang's tomb. So I, ch and yeah, uh, I think the person actually watched the, um, uh, the episodes in a different language. And also, yeah, the only problem is that it could be either a mistake from the other version of the, um, the Jago episodes. He said somewhere between, um, episode, uh, 51 or 52. And I tried to um, look them up in the English, but it didn't. No. But it's in, but it's pretty much in his, um, yeah, own language. And, yeah, that's one, in that's a really interesting, uh, thing. Yeah, but, um, I think it's, uh, Linus, um, Chung, Chung, yeah. Um, yeah, thanks to, uh, for him for pointing that out. And, yeah, and I'm still not done. <laughs> Okay, I got um, one more thing to say, and this is why um, Yang is the main villain of season seven. But then again, even though he's the antagonist of the ninja, he probably isn't evil at all. You know why? Like in season two and the flashbacks. The first Benjutsu Master is trying to bring balance to Ninjago when um, the dark is over, over shedding the light. But maybe Yang slash the first Benjutsu Master is angry because the light is over shedding the dark. Like each season, all the villains are getting defeated and um... And after Skybound, there was nothing else lately. So, um, probably Yang, um, decided to resurrect the villains so there could be balance again. But why would Yang want this balance between dark and light? Maybe, um, in actual yin and yang, um, mythology, um, kind of did said that Yin and Yang won't live without each other. So, you know, the light and darkness, they won't live without each other. Like, if there's no balance into Ninjago, maybe Ninjago could be destroyed. So maybe the ninja in Season 7 it has to defeat the villains without killing them. And maybe they could, uh, send them to the Dark Island and also or they could um, send them to the underworld. I don't know. Maybe the Hangman Bros might figure out a way for a better ending than that. But um, but you probably um, do know what I'm talking about, right? Yang is uh, wants the, to keep the balance, so he's like the good guy, actually. But maybe the only good guy. Actually, he's not good or e evil, right? And yeah, and there's a lot of fears about um, Yang being the first Pichitsu master's brother, but this theory makes more sense to me at least. But yeah, so I had a fun time discussing. That's all I have to say today. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And please, um, if you don't accept this theory, that's okay. But but I did, um, had evidence and stuff. And yeah, and if you want to make a video, um, of this fair, you could. And, yeah. Please comment, like, and subscribe if you did enjoy this video, even though if you don't like the opinion. It's just fun to make theories. Okay, so p thanks for watching. Please like, comment. I mean, comment, and like, and subscribe, and see you guys in another day, or, yeah.
and see you guys next time. Bye-bye.